It's horrible. It's horrible the way y'all sit here and let this girl slander my name. This don't make no sense, though. I'm saying I'm so sick of this shit. I don't know what y'all talking about. All that quiet and Mariah do is throw rumors and accusations back and forth between each other. I have no interest in any of them. So stop asking us about it and stop asking us to defend you. Why are you in it? I ain't doing nothing. You're telling me my shit. Just in there, she brought me in it. Twitch, I ain't bringing you in it. Nobody said, hey, Heavenly, what'd you think? Yes, no, no, she brought me in. She brought me in. We You brought Jesus, Lord. You lie and get the money. Your mama That's what you are. Oh, God. Yeah, my mama get on and whoop your mother's ass. Oh, my God. I actually wouldn't mind if Heavenly said your mama to my mama. She would drag your bitch ass off this bus. Matter of fact, my mama's old high school called Murder Right. I'm serious. It was Murray Wright, but the nickname is Murder Wright. I'm trying to tell you. They damn liars. Oh, God. I think you a damn liar. It's okay. It's okay. Well, he's not I know I'm a bad feeling for you, but every man don't cheat. Yeah, yours, that's that's from yours walk character. on water. That, yours walk on water. He, he damn sure yeah. better than yours. It's, it's all right. It's you know what happened? You don't want to compare. About our I'm saying it ain't got nothing to do with me. You brought me. Oh God, I mean, what we're reviving right now was not what I came here for. I'm in Jackie. I can't find the key. Oh Lord, now I'm in trouble. How we get in the house? Because these people out in this town in the sale right now, they ain't gonna have it. Can we get inside? He's at, we need to get in the house and calm these bitches down before we all get up in the jailhouse. I heard that y'all had like some kind of dance expo <laughs> or something. <laughs> you know what? I was a little bit taken aback. Nobody knew the men were gonna be completely butt naked there. We wanna make sure y'all get a good view. <laughs> but no one walked in. Naked. And left. What was he supposed to do? It was her birthday. Listen, my whole thing is that was not my party. I thought it was in poor taste, and I felt like Toya was wrong. Toya gets As, off. I don't care who's party. If you don't want me to go to so no you party, like just leave. They said some guy picked you up. about it because you know when you come home you be tired we have sex and you go to sleep well, i really don't have time to tell you nothing i tell you what you always have these things like it's okay i don't want another man touching my wife i'm surprised and i don't I want really another thought, man touching me either I they tell it in context was joking. I, I it was a joke because i told a little boy the little boy was about 22 i said little boy i got a son your age, get out the way. Come in, let me see. Let me see. Okay. If we talked about a thousand different things, and of all those things I didn't mention, if women were dancing around me, I think you'd be upset. Well, I only got eyes for you, and the man penis, they was real little. Stop talking about it. Stop mom. talking about it. Why wouldn't someone tell you stop talking about something? You gotta keep going. Cause you Just brought stop it up. talking about it. Okay. So my question is this, when it comes to Mariah, you know she is like hurt by that whole drug thing. She hurt me profusely over the years. You told her I dated a drug dealer, is that I, not true? You really believe I would say that? Yes, you yes ma'am, really you did. did. You are saying a false allegation was made. Absolutely. That you slept with my Mariah's, best your sister's then husband. best friend's sister's husband, your brother-in-law. Yeah. But drugs. I'm telling you, the God's honest truth. I know what I saw. Is it possible you could have saw something different? No. I went with her to a drug clinic. Yeah, okay. Any, and any they, they went all the conclusive. way to five to ten years back. This is a hair strand test, right? Yeah, correct. This is a hair collect test. And on the hair collect test, I'm going to take three parts. I'm going to take some from your middle, about this much from your middle, okay. about this much from the front, and about this much from the back, okay? Now, if Toya was doing this, she would have 
changed her mind when she saw Girl, him now. Change, walk the hell out and say that bitch can go. <laughs> <laughs> How do we explain the drug test and saying that she was not on drugs within the last five to ten years? Same conclusive. I wouldn't just come up with anything out the blue. Now I say one thing about her and it's like, oh my gosh, she's so awful. No one is checking her for all the things she said about me. I don't believe sh quad says about Mariah's life at all. And to be honest with you, they trashed each other's life. I you actually been under her. Never, so you never, 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 never took your fucking look out of here with your coat pants and like that. Ass. Don't okay. try. They just have so much dirt on each other's life. She won't talk about when she came here. And her license tag number was her address. Uh-huh. Just, it's ugly right now. But maybe if y'all just got to a place where y'all was at least cordial. We, we, we are cordial. That's not cordial. I'm in the Ville Horror. <laughs> Don't say that. She right here talking some Amna Ville Horror. Nothing. Everybody died in that movie, right? It kind of reminds me of Heavenly's. It's historic, it's old, but this one has character. Hi! How are you? Welcome to Savannah. Hi, ladies. Hi, come on in. Yes. We have bourbon peach tea for you. Oh, thank so you. please grab one. Is there bourbon in here? Okay, yay. Don't spill my tea. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the 1890 on Whitfield. I am Gina. I am your house host. Is this house haunted? <laughs> now, we've had a few little incidents. Like what? Well, last week we had um, a lamp fall over after our housekeeping staff left, and there was no one here for that lamp to have fallen over. I went to college in New Orleans, so I'm used to ghosts. When I walk into this house, I know what a ghost infested home feels like. I may be constipated when I leave, because I'm definitely not closing any doors, even bathroom doors. I'm Dr. Simone, and this is my husband, Cecil. To subscribe, click here. For more videos, click here.